course not. Um, I would like to thank Dr. Alonzo for her very good counsel very early this morning. Um, I'm frustrated. And I just want to give a heads up to those that might be addressing this board today on this particular issue. For the past six months, and, and some of my colleagues, for the past six months I have listened very, very patiently to the folks in our community who want to deny the seriousness of this virus. Well, <clears throat> as I sit here right now, my 19-year-old daughter is sitting in an emergency room in Orlando. She tested positive for this virus over the weekend and over the night at 2 a.m. sent me a text message that she had excruciating shooting leg pains. So we don't know if she's dehydrated or if she is throwing blood clots and the virus is attacking her muscular skeletal system. So I absolutely will be making my decisions today from a personal experience because people who continue to come before this board and tell us that we need herd immunity and that the young people in our community need to catch this virus because they don't have any symptoms, well, I'm here to tell you that that's not true. And you never know which one of the young people in our community are going to be attacked seriously by this virus, and that is not a chance that I am willing to take. I don't want to hear anything about underground media reports or anything from quack denier doctors that this is a virus that should not be taken seriously because I'm here to tell you it absolutely is a virus that needs to be taken seriously. You don't know how it's going to attack your system. In the same breath, I also recognize the economic hardships that it places on our community. Having two kids, the other two, who are healthy right now, uh, work in the restaurant industry and have been severely financially impacted from this virus. But I'm not willing to let another mother have to sit in the position that I sit in today, having to sit here in a county commission meeting because I cannot go to Orlando, which believe me, at 7 a.m. this morning, I wanted to hit the highway and get up there, but I can't be with her in the hospital. And when she texts me that she's scared, I don't want any other mother to ever have to get that text message and feel the way that I feel right now. So I'm just giving a warning to those in the community, do not come up to this podium today and try to tell me that this is a virus that doesn't need to be taken seriously. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Commissioner McKinley.